That's probably the offlaner, so it is yeah. more than likely clockwork support. It seems like Which Empire is... Mentioned. Yeah. We were saying it, you know, yeah. Miposka really likes to pick a zero early so they can just, like, dictate the pace of the game with his. And they... Both teams <clears throat> playing for the greed at the moment. I oh, yeah, still in the jungle. Miposka is going to find him with his rotation, but Bive is there as well. Yeah, Miposka does have really to be careful, him. but yeah, I guess with the brown boot straight up. No sort of catch. Well, they do have the TP though from the Nature's Prophet. Miposka's not going to expect this one. He's going to be able to get brought down with the extra damage from the right clicks. Nice, no, could be your first blood. Like yeah, a couple more touches, and that's going to be the clock out and down. Very great, nice TP. Great play from General. King are taking a fair bit of damage, of course, from that Nature's Prophet right clicks. In lane, Miposka's invis. This could be when they try to go for something aggressive. Let's see if they can block off, yeah. And with the battery assault, this is going to cause quite a bit of an issue here for Seneco. Does manage to get the tether off in time. The chains did connect, but he can't quite close the gap at end. So though. Seneco survives. And yeah, Dendi will be the sacrifice by the looks of it. Certainly the bigger one. They put the fire in the bottle. He's certainly making them work for it. And with the brown boots, what could he do? Not a lot. We'll end up going down. A killer, maybe even just like a raindrop or something, so he can get okay. the jungle and give the disruptor the lane a bit so that they can get levels because Biver is, is definitely suffering a bit in that aspect. Miposhka, he's gonna get sandwiched here by three heroes. Are they gonna have enough to bring him down though? Uh, it looks like they they've got the phase boots on general, so he's got a good amount of chase down potential. Will not be enough. PyCat will jump forward. Uh, got nice. the kinetic field, it connects, and PyCat. We'll grab himself the kill. This very often, six or seven minutes in, we see the Tower Blade make the movement out of the safe lane, try to pressure and take the safe lane tower. It's a very good thing to do versus a Slark as well, because then you don't let them do exactly what I was talking about. Like, yeah. leave the lane, go jungle, and give the give the support to lane, but top lane. He's yeah. just... and King, I was thinking about a wraparound. General will be a lovely find. They'll try for Patrick's help, but okay, the Cogs will do it. They'll push him out of the TP, and the Maledict on him is going to tick down low. They'll go for the Remnant Burst and the Chains. Make sure that there's no TP chance for this Nature's Prophet. And Ain, but FN, he'll be fine at this point of the game, level 8. Very easy for him to get away. And as we talked about earlier, very little that Na'Vi can do to stop him. Top lane, Dendi. They're going to make a play onto Maposhka, but Dendi is out of mana. General will come hunting for the clock around the side of the tree line. And with the treants out, they will take the kill. So again, Maposhka being taken down. I think that's what the third time he's fallen this game. A lot of deaths on the clockwork. Dendi is low on mana. He actually has Sol Ring though. Bottles up. He should be okay to just turn this maybe on King R, but it's a little bit bold. Look for it. General will sprout out the Witch Doctor. Dendi goes for the TP away. He's going to make it. King Ooh, Irons nice up going play. down. And now General, he knows he's safe to get out of there. The Maledic, that is going to bring him down low, but the Fountain Regen should offset the damage. And indeed it will. Elsewhere though, Io ends up going down. Snako was looking to try and pick up some levels in the mid lane. Trying to make a play onto Pycat here. I see who makes Navi. the jump first. Yeah, there's both teams with the potential to counter the play. And it's going to be the movement in onto the Enigma. Glimpse back into the Static Storm. That'll be Ghostic down. Pycat picks up the kill. More gold in his bank towards the Shadow Blade. Let's see if he can get more out of this. King Arc goes for the TPR. Do they have any sort of counter? They don't need it. The damage from the Dark Pack, more than enough. Pycat grabs himself the double. And Na'Vi, they're not done yet. They'll look towards Maposhka, trying for the TP out. But, ooh, just makes it out in time. Thunderstrike will bring him down low. Not enough to kill him. But Na'Vi with some nice plays there. The, the smoke up catching Empire. Nice towards the mid lane, but Na'Vi already up on the high ground. Very hard for Empire to make that jump that they need. And Poshko will waltz up. Hook shot straight into the face. The disruptor, but the Static Storm comes out. Ember remnants into the storm. They'll get the relocate out just in time to keep him alive. Na'Vi not losing anyone as of yet. Dendi will be rooted up. Uh, sorry, General is the one to take down. Dendi zips in, zips back out just in time. The Black Hole attempted from Ghostic, but again, the plays here from the Io keeping the team alive. Seneco was a big messy fight there, but it's at the end of the day, I think it's going to end up working out okay for Na'Vi, especially if Pyka wants to go for this free kill. Finds oh, himself King up, and indeed, no way for the Wish Doctor to get himself out of that. So Na'Vi do end up finding the favorable trade in terms of numbers. Yeah, really high, like high risk or high skill plays there coming up from Na'Vi. The relocate on the Disruptor and then the Storm getting that, or Dendi getting the perfect zip as the Black Hole comes out. Empire does get themselves in the tower and they do kill General again now bottom. So General died mid and then now he dies bottom. So, and he's the ready to zip on top of the Witch Doctor. Pike on the back lines. Checking out the situation, knows where Chappie is actually going to go in, and put a bit of aggression in. In fact, with a zip 4 from Denny in the Vortex just in time to make sure there's no Sunder. Fine, he could be in some trouble now himself. Will he get the TP out? He will. Yeah, nowhere to cancel it. Something that certainly is lacking for Na'Vi's lineup, as we mentioned from the draft. 
TP cancels, relying on pretty much well the disruptor or the storm to make things happen. Bottom lane talking about the storm, Dendi. Yeah, I'm not even gonna get a death lord off in this game. Not this early on. I get looking for Chappy with Dendi. Let's see if they can do it. He'll try and match his way out of there, but a brilliant static storm actually trapping the Ember as well as FN tried to commit for this. Looks to round it out, but they have the damage to bring him down. Now with the Sprout to Miposhka, they've got him just sat there, ready to pick up another. And uh, this Na'Vi... The Clockwork support is working out like the Spirit Breaker did. He's trying to do the same kind of thing, but it's not. He's just kind of dying. Ghost Tick now getting a black hole on three. They do oh, relocate nice. into it, but... Oh, he's actually going to kill the Io by the looks of it. Oh, he gets Io General looking low too. Dendi too. Well, that went a lot better for Ghostic than I think Na'Vi where he does kill himself. But, uh, it, all right. I mean, I was looking at that black hole going like, all right, well, where's the follow-up? But it looks like with the Midnight Pulse and the Eidolon's out, it was enough. I, I did not expect that. <laughs> Look at and General, he, just playing with Miposhka with I, the Treants, and now Dendi comes back top. Oh, Ghostic, he's going to survive. I can't believe it. He just, he just walked himself away from a slug. Oh, my, oh my what God. What the hell is happening? What happened in mid? I was looking at the other fight. No, oh, Ghostic with the plays, bringing his team back. Yeah, it really is. Fan finds himself an IO. Tenzi can't get into catching. Yeah, Not really specific no, for anything no, no. to disable, but I guess he just wants the bonus stat attribute. And the posture should be caught out again as they bring him back into the static storm. Tenzi there with more than enough damage to take down the clock. So again, Maposhki getting Sineko. Empire with a very strong position. Those is half of them do. They do drop the ward down. Navi know what they're entering into. Let's see who they can jump in first. The Nature's Wrath bounce from through. There's the ward jump down. Oh, Static Storm jumping the mid wall, but the BKB is already out from Chappie. Ghostic falling low, but he himself posts the BKB. Dendi doesn't have the damage to bring him down. And Poshka hook shot across straight away onto Biver. Biver is going to be the first to fall. The Death War from the Witch Doctor ends up popping the Aegis once. Now King R will lose his life. Pycat comes in from the side, cleans up Maposhka. Dendi wondering if he can go back in. He knows that the BKB is now on cooldown. Would be a good time to re-enter. There's the zip in, looking for Ghost Tick, brings him back with the Vortex, Pycat trying to get an opening in onto the Enigma, but the Black Hole's there, Ghost Tick grabs two, that's going to be the Ioan down, Pycat still will find the kill, now with the Bastion onto Chap, he gets the Terror Blade as well, and they're looking to clean up for more, FN on his way out, he's got a Remnant to throw, but he hasn't got the mana to jump to it, with the break here, and the final ball of light flying through from The amount of Bloodstone charges acquired, and Navi just looking very commanding in this game, almost up to a 15,000 gold lead with their non-stop aggression onto Empire. Alright, zipping in, diving the tier 4s, looking for the shrines, Dendi. Again, King R, such an easy kill for this Storm. No hope at all for King R in terms of coming forward. Now the TP's come through, Glimpse will be there onto Enigma, he's gonna walk his, have to walk his way back towards this. Na'Vi will back though, they'll take the flare out, but can they? Can they afford to get out there and contest it? That's the question. Will they go? They're getting onto General. They have Dust. They're actually able to grab him here. Yeah, Maposhka and FM working together to find the kill. And now the rest of the team is moving over to the pit. 1100 kill bounty. Can Ghostig do something massive here? The slightly split up. Jump four from Ghostig is not going to be the jump into the black hole that he needs to find, though. Dendi still in the pit, along with Pycat. They'll finish off Roshan. Get themselves the Aegis. And now Empire, they have to be careful again. Dendi with the Sheepers Guard straight in onto the Enigma, who pops the BKB, looking for an opportunity to turn a black hole, but they've already lost the Witch Doctor. Blink out in time from Ghost Dick Na'Vi. Ready to chase for more. They'll get the glimpse. No. Okay, BKB popped by Chappie. Making sure that he doesn't get dragged back. Will TP away. Again, as we've seen, just very hard for Ghost Dick to find these black hole opportunities. Na'Vi still getting the Roshan and the Aegis. 18 Bloodstone charges onto Dendi. He is having quite the a lot more difficult than for them to really do anything. Catching Slar, catching Storm Spirit. Yeah. It's just super difficult with these type of heroes. It's going to be the tower going down the top lane as Pike. The potential to siege multiple different angles. Because they don't, I don't know if they really want to just group up still versus that black hole. It still can be a little bit intimidating going high Oh, they do catch Dendi here. Jump forward, pushing about with the cogs and great chain stun. They'll take him down once. Can they do it again though? There's already a reaction coming in. Ghostic pops the eight black hole, will catch Dendi, and that will allow them to bring it down second. No, he gets the deny off in time, and now they've got to be careful. Empire has committed the BKB on Chappie. Again, just having to go for the BKB TP out. Pycat, seeing if he can catch some stragglers on the back of this. The TPs and the Blinks away are successful to start their fight. Are 
That's how they like to do it. The Treants, they're yeah. bringing down the Ranger Axe. Pika right. just runs in, no fear whatsoever. Yeah, yeah he's bought a second butterfly. Sack of vision. What a mad lad. He I mean, yeah, it's... Why not? Why not? Stay, it's an item that does everything you want on a, on a slot. He'll jump past Ghostic, turn straight back towards him, and Ghostic's out and down. His damage is absurd on the Slark too yeah. with his double butterfly attack speed. I mean, yeah, attack speed, Agi, as you said, evasion, everything you could want on this Slark this game. I think it's just because of how far ahead he is. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's just like, hey, I could go Scotty. Nah, I'll just get a second butterfly. It's just too good. Jumping out. Slowly whittling down the range racks. Treant's going to get the bottom range racks. Middle in as well. Empire. How do Navi mess this one up? That's, that is, as you said, the question that Empire going to be asking themselves. Quite impossible. <laughs> they need to wait for the Roshan to come back up. I mean, it's, yes, yeah, it's going to be up. Maximum time is within the next like two minutes or so. It's got about a minute and ten seconds until it is up. Oh, they get the courier too. Right. What it looks like an Aghanims, maybe something along those lines, just to keep the side lanes pushed in and send massive amounts of treants at those Rexes. Oh, Pycat having a bit of fun here with oh the Terra Blade. Oh my god. And uh, actually, Illusion's causing him some confusion, but he still does find the kill eventually. Now the player responds, but again, with the Dark Pact, no way they can catch it. Pybat will be there for TB, Maposhka looking to lead in. On the top, Black Hole we committed. They trapped Dendi, they're bringing down once. BKB not enough to save him. Did call multiple. We're seeing obviously it has to use them in opportunities like that to kill Dendi. Does have the refresh for a second usage. Aghanim's finished up for general. He's yep. got level 25, so he's got the double HP treants. Nice double HP and damage. Ghost Dick, plus the BKB immediately. They do have a good bit of chain stun onto Dendi. Dendi dropping rather low, but he's forced back out. All three lanes being sieged though. Yep. The treants in mid lane, Pycat in the top lane, general in the bottom lane. Again now mid lane. Dendi's very low. And uh, yeah, Sineko's there to back him up. Black Hole, was he, did he uh, use the refresh? I don't think he did go no. stick. So he is going to have the double it. Black Hole. There's the go in again. Being made onto the TB. Does manage to get the match off. Sun does the wish to keep himself alive. Dendi trying to finish off this Enigma, but Ghosting will survive. Post the refresher. Trying for a play, but he refreshes BKBs and then just dies. That's the Enigma out of it for 90 seconds. Pycat being forced back by the Terror Blade. Biver falling down low, but again, the Glimpse is there to rip the clock away. GG is finally called by Empire. And Navi, they will take the second game. So the first series ending at 1 1. It is 50,000 gold lead. A 50,000 gold lead. Wow. That was, uh, yes, as you said, normally by that time, or well.